All right, if you're a fan of Pokemon Black and White, this video is going to make your day. So the Kanto folks had Pokemon 151. What if I told you we're getting Pokemon 156? That's right, just like 151, an enhanced expansion featuring the 151 Kanto Pokemon, we are getting an enhanced expansion box dedicated to the 156 Unova Pokemon, and it comes out very soon. Pokemon Black Bolt and White Flare are the dual sets in Japan. They come out in June, and I say soon because I think a lot of people would have guessed they'd do Johto first and then Hoenn, etc., but instead we're skipping right to the Black-White era for another set dedicated to a region. And that makes me think, and Pokebeach.com think, that Pokemon Black and White are probably due for some remakes. And they are. We had Diamond and Pearl remade just a year or two ago. They completely butchered it. Maybe Black and White is going to be better. And that's the video game I'm talking about, by the way. Now, of course, the video game stuff's all speculation, but what's not speculation is how absolutely wild Black Bolt and White Flare are going to be for the TCG. We had Surging Sparks, which was all hype and crazy. Then we had Prismatic right after that, which doesn't even come out till January, by the way. And then the Team Rocket set, which comes out in the spring. Like, every single time Pokemon makes an announcement, the hype gets bigger. 2025 is probably going to be the biggest year of the TCG since, like, the pandemic days. And we thought 2024 was crazy. Every time I turn on Poke Beach, there's something wild. We knew Black Bolt and White Flare were sets coming out. The trademarks leaked months ago. We already knew the names of these sets. What I don't think anyone could have called, at least with certainty, is they were literally dedicated specifically to a region, specifically to black and white, which is a generation that a lot of you guys are absolutely crazy about. I myself am not a black and white era fan necessarily. I think it's cool, but I was kind of out of Pokemon at that time. Diamond and Pearl, that was like my that Ruby Sapphire Emerald was like the games I played with my neighbor and like we had a great time with it. But Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, those games are what basically introduced me to my current best friends who we are still best friends and see each other two times a week. And it's been like 15 years. So Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, that's my generation that I like relate to the most and the generation that, again, the video game company completely butchered. So I'm super excited that you black and white fans get a chance that not only a great TCG, probably, but also, hopefully, a great video game remake. We'll see. So aside from the excitement and the news that this set does specifically feature 156 Unova Pokemon, there's not a ton of details yet. We know it's going to be an enhanced expansion pack, which, just like 151, it's going to come with a, a card file as an item you can buy. And I guess it's also going to contain a, a Victini promo. Somebody in the comments was theorizing we might get this Victini as the promo, which apparently was in the uh, Chinese set and... We never got that in English slash Japan, so that's an interesting theory. But as far as that, that's all we really know right now. We do have a list of upcoming sets in Japan. If you guys are watching, you know how to read. But for those that listen uh, while they drive or work out or whatever, I'll read these off the screen. So December 6th, as you guys all know, Crystal Festival comes out in Japan. This is going to be uh, basically the Prismatic Evolutions adjacent set. There's a lot of crossover. It's not a perfect one-to-one, -one, but... That comes out December 6th. Uh, we've got pre-orders up on PokeAnnie.com. January 24th is the Battle Partner. So that's going to be the uh, owner's Pokemon mechanic. And it's going to feature um, N and Lily, apparently. February 21st, we're getting starter set Steven's Beldum at Metagross. And then uh, Marnie's Morpeko and Grimmsnarl. March 14th is Heat Wave Arena. That's going to feature Cynthia's Garchomp. And uh, Pokey Beach in a different article said like Volcarona might be the the main player on there. Maybe Heatran, one of those two, I guess. April 18th is the glory of Team Rocket in Japan, and it features Rocket's Mewtwo. We don't know how that's going to translate to English, if it's going to be like a specialty set or if it's going to be a normal booster box set. I think it'd go either way, but in Japan, comes out in April. May, apparently May, there's just never anything. It says uh, 2023, 2024, and now 2025. There's not been a May set, so May is just a break time, I guess. It's Pokemon's buy, buy month. And then uh, June 6th is this Black Bolt White Flare featuring you know, Zekrom and Reshiram, of course. Pretty crazy uh, stuff coming up, guys. It's going to be a wild one. So that's the news. Those are the upcoming sets. Shop if you want to waste some money this year and have a wonderful day.